So I'm going on the trip of a lifetime and you're coming with me. <laughs> Yay! Hope you got your passport ready. You need to strap on for this one. <laughs> I want to create a travel journal because I'm going to go to a few fabulous places. First of all, we're stopping in Sydney so I can visit my little treasures. Yay, I'm going to see my kids. And then I'm going with my son to Singapore. Now I want to make art along the way, of course, be inspired by the art and create fabulous videos for you to share the journey with me. I am just so excited, as you can tell. So I'm going to use this Dilutions Creative Journal for my travel journal. I like this brand because it's robust. It survived really well, the 100 days of collage, as I did week after week after week. And if you followed me, you know I'm lavish with my application. I use a heap of matte gel medium and I like to stick all sorts of things in my collages. So whatever journal I use has to be very robust. Now I have found personally that this craft one seems to hold up better than the black one, even though the black one is really funky and groovy and I love the black lines around the edge. This one actually seems to handle my loving a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're going with. What size is it? This one is 14 centimeters or six inches by probably eight, right? Yeah, six by eight or nine, eight and a half. <laughs> anyway, six by eight or nine or eight and a half. That's what the size is because you'll probably ask me and it is a dilutions creative journal i like the brand it works well for me personally i don't get paid to tell you that but i just like it i like the way i'm going to put some extra pieces of paper in this envelope to take with me because as i said we're making art along the way yippee now i'm probably going to have to use a glue stick when i'm traveling i don't like glue sticks but today, while I'm in the studio preparing, I'm using my matte gel medium and I just received this amazing box from Tapology. Hello, I did get a little crazy in my last video <laughs> because I was hysterical with the unboxing of these beautiful papers. They're absolutely glorious. There's so many fabulous textures and the colors are beautiful. And then of course, I actually sprayed some with the eye zinc. That's what these papers are. They were white and now they are colored. That's the honey in the eye zinc. Look at that. Just look at that. They're beautiful. And that's then this is the coffee. So the papers can be changed to any color you like, which I personally love being able to do that. This is the tea in the eye zincs. And then we have the glorious licorice. Look at that. Oh, magnificent. They're still kind of, you can see through them. They're very textural. They're incredibly soft. They're just glorious. I'm so happy with how well these sprayed up. I also did some printing on the gel plate with these ones that came in my typology box. And they turned out really cool too. Okay, I have to show you now. <laughs> so that's one of the prints. It's fabulous. These are more of the prints that I took from the gel plate with these particular pieces. So if you don't like the papers in the pack, there's other ways to use them. Print them, put them on the gel plate, spray them with the eye zincs. This one I actually sprayed with the eye zincs. It looks amazing. That one I sprayed as well. That looks fabulous. And then these other ones are from on the gel plate, using them like a stencil. They work fabulous. And now I have a whole heap more jelly prints to use in this fabulous project. Now, the thing is, I want to prepare my travel journal before I go because space is going to be limited and so is time. And you don't want to get locked up in a foreign country for taking the wrong materials. <laughs> 
You need to pay attention. What does your ticket say? It says nothing flammable, nothing toxic, no aerosols. So boring. That cuts out a lot of our art supplies. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is prepare my travel journal now. I'm going to add some colors to my pages, some of these glorious pieces that I bought from Taperology, and then it'll be prepared. And then I won't have completely blank pages and I can just fill them in as I travel along. I can write notes in it. I can remind myself where I went on what day because it will all become an absolute blur. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do. We're preparing our travel journal. So if you're going to join me and you've got something you're going to be creating in, you may as well jump in and create along with me. Okay, so there's so many ways we can add to the travel journal to have it prepared. I'm going to spray a few of these on the pages. We could also use some watercolors or some watercolor crayons. I'm going to also put some of these pages on to the travel journal as well just so i'll have a beautiful textural background and then i can write in it as i go along i also have some of my fabulous digital collage papers this is the beautiful blooms pack and then i have some of the violet passions i'm going to use these as well these are an instant download they're on my etsy store have a look in the description under the video because there'll be a discount code there's discount codes for everything so make sure you check it out um, i'm going to use some of these papers in here as well just remind me that i'm, I'm not supposed to be covering the whole page <laughs> We're going to be adding to it as we travel. Actually, that's another thing. I need to find some pens that are going to write on these pages for when we're moving around. All right, fabulous. Let's get ourselves a kit together of materials we're taking, and then we can really avoid the art supplies that might put us in jail. I'm liking this plan. Smart move. Right, so let's begin with... Um, preparing the travel journal and then we can move on to sorting out what art supplies we need to take so i have got baking paper i like to put baking paper under my pages to keep the other ones clean so note to self i need to be writing a list i'm gonna have to take some baking paper to keep my pages clean also when i'm traveling it's going to be really good to put the baking paper on wet pages close it up and keep going right right because <laughs> i know how this is going to go i'm going to have stuff stuck everywhere and i'm going to need to close it up in a hurry and catch the next flight <laughs> so making a list we need baking paper now, what should I start with? I don't want to cover the whole pages. I just want to put on some inspiring pieces that I can get excited about. And then when I'm traveling, I can add to it. I can write on it. I can put notes in it. That's what I'm thinking. So I love this piece. One of these maps here from my beautiful Taperology collection could be really cool. Could be a great way to start because we're going off to see the world. Which one do we want to put on? Really doesn't matter too much. They're both pretty cool. Righto, let's start with that one then. And this is a good test because I really wanted to see how well these papers handle my matte medium. Now, I know I'm going to have to take a glue stick, but right now I don't have to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> right now, I get to use my matte medium and that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to put one of these fabulous, beautiful little maps on the first page just to get me excited that we're venturing off into the wild blue yonder. I know it is actually exciting and terrifying all at the same time. Oh man, that glued down real easy. I'm going to trim it off the edge there once it's dry. It'll just be easier that way because what I tend to do is cut things too short. And that's really annoying. So it's actually easier to let it be longer and let it hang over the page and then trim it once it's actually dry. That's what I find for me works a lot better. Right, so added to that list, I need a cloth that I can dampen to white 
Or I could take baby wipes. That could be fine too. I could get myself a little travel pack. Hope you're writing a list for me. <laughs> because we got to put all these things together. <laughs> right, so do I want to add something down there? I wouldn't mind adding some of this beautiful white. I just love it. It's just magnificent. I am. I'm going to add a little piece of that down there. It's so soft and beautiful. Now, on my list, I need a pen that is going to be able to write over all of these textured papers. And I think I'm going to tear the edge so it's not so stiff. Right. Add it to the list. <laughs> Permanent marker or a Posca pen or something that's going to write over all these layers and textures. I probably need a couple of pens in different thicknesses. Just a little piece of the beautiful white and yay, we're away. The texture on this paper is so glorious. It's just so soft and beautiful. I just love it. So that is awesome. That's a great start for our travel journal. And I'm really excited. <laughs> I know you can tell. Now, the first place we're going to is Australia, mate. So I'm thinking we could put little Australia on there. And then I'm thinking, how about we leave that page, the rest of the page blank, because I'm going to want to add some things, some pictures or some other elements or some writing. I might want to put the date on when I started, when I got there. Yay, the plane landed safely. You know, all those things that you need. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Why am I in the bar? Because I wanted to tell you about my new Patreon community. And it's about more. <laughs> more of me, more personal, more behind the scenes, more videos, more content, more art more exploration, more adventures, more fun. I know, right? <laughs> so come and join me on Patreon. It's brand new. There'll be many more videos, behind the scenes videos, exclusive content, digital products, inspiration packs. There's so much going on. And did I mention it's brand new? You need to check it out. The link will be in the description. Have a look at what I'm offering because I know you're going to want to join me in this community because it's so much fun. Yay! Now, don't get stressed out when you're doing this. If you um, want to cover your pages after you've prepared your travel journal, because that's the process of creativity. You just get inspired and make decisions and then keep moving along, even if you're chopping and changing them. It's okay. It doesn't matter if I cover up these pages once I'm actually roaming in the globe because this exercise just gives me something to start with, which is really exciting. And preparing for any trip is, oh my gosh, so exciting. So this is one of the Taperology white papers that I sprayed with the Isings. Look how fabulous that comes up. They sprayed really well, really easy. And I think I'm going to put some of my favorite licorice color on there. And then, and then, maybe I'm busting to use some of these beautiful stickers. Like, hello, yes, I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. I love this. I wonder how good the stickers are. This is my fabulous taperology hoard. And I wonder how good these stickers will stick. They feel pretty sticky. Let's give it a go. Okay. If it comes off, I'll just whack my matte medium on it and that'll be the end of that. Baggage room. Number one baggage room. Loving it. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited. Look at that. That's pretty fun. <laughs> hey, that sticks really well. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take some stickers with me because then I won't need matte medium or a glue stick. Yes, brilliant idea. I might stick a few more over here. That beautiful licorice on the paper looks so nice. What about the block party? I did like this the last time I was playing with these stickers. Look at that. How easy is that? Yes, 
I'm going to take some of these Taperology stickers with me and I'm going to put it in that envelope in the front of the journal because hello! <laughs> How simple is that, man? You stick it on and she's done. <laughs> I'm loving that. <laughs> and also I've got lots of space here to write or to add more pictures or to pick up things along the way. Now, this other thing I got the other day with my fabulous box is some gold foil something. <laughs> I think it's it must be rub-on because... It comes with a stick, right? And it's not, you know, an ice cream. So figuring must be rub on. I'm really liking the aeroplane. So I've been busting to try this. Oh, there's the backing paper. I guess you take the backing paper off. And then I'm figuring that you just rub it, right? I need the aeroplane up there because that's pretty fun. Actually, I might put a few things on there because, <laughs> because they look really cool. All right. And then what, you rub it with the stick? I'm figuring, I've never actually used this before. I know you can't tell that. Oopsies. You probably have to keep it still. Yeah, righto. Keep it still. And then rub it maybe more carefully. <laughs> righto, should we see what damage I've done? Oh man, wait till you see this. Oh, oops, I'm going to rub a bit more there. It's not sticking. Oh, that looks fantastic. Okay, it's a little bit messy because I wasn't, you know, delicate enough. But that is very me. That's okay. I can live with that. That look. I'm leaving those bits on there. That looks like gold leaf. I guess that's the point, right? I know. You're probably laughing at me because I've never used it before. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm so leaving all those bits on there. I am loving that. That's fantastic. I need some more. <laughs> that is just glorious. Look at that. Look at the gold on that. Oh, man, that's fantastic. And it's matching my little bit down there. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Right? So I put some more on and it looks pretty cool. I'm loving it. I want to add another sticker because it's so fun and so easy. <laughs> Look at this one. This is so cool. Looks like a luggage tag. Oh, man. This is just so much fun. Yay. Righto. Very happy with that. It looks fabulous. I'm loving it. The Taperology. Uh, beautiful stickers and papers are glorious. They make this whole process extremely easy. Like, hello, we've already done that much in two, like, seconds. So that's fun. I love it. Let's just do a couple more pages because I'm a little excited. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. And you know, you're coming with me, right? <laughs> so what if we wanted to add some sprays or some watercolour, which we could do? Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. I've got some of the eye zincs. What about some violet? Yes. What's not to love about that? Oh, yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to spray a little violet on my page. Then I'm going to ooh, smudge it with the damp cloth. Yes, this is working well. So that it just gives it a beautiful thin layer of colour. And then we'll go from there. We could add some more of those fabulous stickers. We could add some more of the beautiful papers. You know what would look good over this? Some of that glorious white paper would look amazing over this beautiful violet. I love violet. I know. If you watched my series of 100 Days of Collage, you're going to know that, yes, I do like violet. Look at that. That is just glorious. Righto, I'm going to put some of the white paper over that. And that'll look beautiful. You know, like one of these. This one's got a really nice swirly pattern in it. So if I just glue that right on top of there, that's just beautiful. I might add this one to that side. Yes. Maybe some more stickers. Oh, man. Can't decide. 
Maybe I'll add some of my violet passions. Yes, I think I should do some of that. Oh, what about some of that? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Let's go with that. Okay, let's do that. A bit of that, maybe some more of that to give it some edge. Yes, and then the white on there. All right, I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Papers are stuck down and they look great. Loving it. What about, what about, what about that there? Yes. Okay. I have to do it. I'm just loving these stickers. Now, what if it doesn't stick because I've got uh, matte gel medium? Well, then I might just run over the top. But that looks cool. The gold looks glorious. The colours work. All right, I'm putting it on right there. We're not actually going to London, but that doesn't matter. Maybe I'll get to London another time. I'm just going to put a little bit of the matte gel medium on top so that it sticks properly because the page is wet. I know, you wouldn't have expected it to dry already, would you? <laughs> Righto. Okay, I'll stop playing with the pages and let's put the art supplies together because we need to sort out what we're taking. What are we going to do when we're traveling around? We're definitely going to be collaging from the places we go to because I'll be picking up papers and bits and pieces along the way and we'll be sticking some in this fabulous travel journal so we're going to need to sort out what we're going to take what we're not going to take because it'll be a hazard on the plane okay <laughs> righto i'm going to pull out my pencil cases and let's decide on what we're taking right so my art journal is all ready to go yippee and what am i going to take I'm going to take some washi tape because if I have a problem with the glue or the matte gel getting confiscated, at least I'll have some tape, right? <laughs> and also, it's really good to put down the spine of the art journal if it gets a bit uh, beaten up or starts to fall apart. Washi tape's fabulous. Glue stick, I'm going to take the glue stick in my carry-on and see if I can get away with that. I don't really know if I can or not. I know I probably have to... Yeah, see, it's 250 mils is the matte medium, so you can't put that in your carry-on because you carry on. You can only have 100 mils. So, you know, that's got to go in the checked luggage. Also, the scissors, they cannot go in carry-on. They'll get confiscated because you might poke someone in the eye. <laughs> I know, I know, you got to follow the rules when you're traveling or else you're going to pay a penalty and you'll be very sorry because you might not get to go where you want to go. So that's got to go in checked luggage. Washi tape's going to go in the carry-on. I'm going to try the glue stick. They can only take it off me. It's only glue stick. It'll be fine. Now, my pencil case. Yes, this is one of my paintings. <laughs> My pencil gaze, what am I going to take? I'm definitely taking um, some Posca pens, black and white. And then I've got some other silver pens, bronze, copper, all my favorite colors. Yes, of course, we've got red. We have to take those and some other black ones. Now, these Sharpies will write on anything. So they should write right over the top of my fabulous layers of paper. In my art journal, that's going to work. Any of these Sharpies will work because they're a permanent marker. The Posca pens will write over anything. And then I've got these ones if I want to write fine or do a little bit of detail. So I think I'll just take the pens. I was thinking of taking some eye zinc sprays, but I don't think I will because I couldn't stand having the drama of it being a problem so maybe i'll be spritzing things with gold when i get home what the heck we are traveling we got to go light portable and uh non-toxic i'm definitely taking some of my stickers and stamps my new beautiful taperology hoard i'm going to definitely pack some of those in the little envelope of the art journal because that's fun i might even tuck in a couple of pieces of collage paper maybe baby maybe just in some of my favorite colors just so i can add some layers because i don't really know what i'm going to want but that's it it's a simple 
art supplies. I think simple is better. And because my art journal has been prepared so well, I don't feel the need to have to take a heap of things. Now I'm a mixed media artist, so I'm very happy using whatever I can find. And I personally love collage. So I'm going to be um, doing that along the way. Yes, I think I should take a brush. You know what I could do with that? Hold the phone caller. I got an idea. I've just decided I'm going to put my matte medium into my container here. And, um, you know, it'll look like face cream. <laughs> right? I could say it's face cream, but you still can't take it in carry on. It'll have to go into checked luggage, but I think I will do that. I'm definitely taking it because, oh, what was I saying? I'm a mixed media artist. I love collage and I'll be collecting papers along the way and collaging them in my travel journal. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it in my checked luggage and hope for the best. Take a brush to go with that. So that's fine. I just need some baby wipes. And you know, I'm good to go. Pretty excited. Yay. Can't wait to see where we're going to end up. <laughs> so come and join me on Patreon because there's so much going on. It's so much fun. Lots more behind the scenes, lots more videos and lots more personal interactions. I know, right? <laughs> So if you want more, join me on Patreon. It's a beautiful new community for anyone who wants to really hang out. Anyway, if you'll be by my side, it's all right.